studies in Pauline epistles offers, uh, I think, readers a very current window into the state of Pauline studies. Number of essays in this volume that relate to the current landscape as it is. First of all, to Feshrif, to to honor Doug Moo's service to the church and to the academy over the last several decades. And one of the, the most interesting factors, I think, is that we've assembled a team, an international team of scholars to honor him. A pretty impressive list. I mean, there's no, um, you can't think of hardly anybody uh, that's not on the list that should be on the list. So it's, a, it's a really a competent team. And rather than writing a number of essays across the waterfront, they're all focused on the Pauline epistles. Um, and probably the most interesting thing to most of the readers is the fact that Tom Wright is writing, uh, James Dunn is writing, and Stephen Westerholm are writing, all related to topics to the new perspective. Well, the new perspective, you know, is, is really not all that new. It's pretty long in the tooth, but it, it continues to generate a lot of um, uh, interest and comment and discussion. And I don't think the whole topic is particularly settled, at least in everyone's mind. Doug has been an advocate of, the, uh, for lack of a better term, the old perspective, kind of a, a classic Reformation-style reading of, of the Pauline letters. And uh, a couple of the uh, contributors, most notably Dunn and Wright, are really on the vanguard of the new perspective and they write in this volume. And uh, Wright is uh, promoting kind of the new perspective in his essay. And then Dunn, interestingly, we've asked him to do kind of a role reversal and to tell us what's good about the old perspective, which he ultimately rejects. So we've kind of got him, uh, well, I guess, role playing, if you will. And he does it quite well, as one might imagine. So um, that's a pretty interesting dynamic to the book, I think.